Okay, so this is probably one of the hardest ones because we're trying to get X on its own, but we've got X's on this side, we've got OX and we've got it over here. So the first thing we need to do is get all the X's on the same side. So if we take away this OX, it doesn't matter which one you do. So we take away OX, we've got MX minus OX add N is equal to P. Now we want X's on their own, so we need to get rid of this N. So we take away N, so I've got MX minus OX is equal to P minus N. Now this is where there's a little trick. We need to get X's on their own. Now there's X's in both of these terms. So there's a factor of X in both. So we can factorize because X times M is MX and X times O is OX equals P minus N. Now what this means is X is times by all of this. So the opposite of that is dividing. So we need to divide both sides by M minus O. So we've got X is equal to P minus N over M minus O. So we always have to do that step of uh, factorizing. Similar one here, trying to get X on its own. So I'm gonna move this CX over to the other side. So I've got AX minus CX minus B is equal to D. Get rid of this B by adding to both sides. So I've got AX minus CX is equal to D add B. Now we've got X's in both, so we can factorize. So I've got A minus C is equal to D add B. Now to get rid of this, we have to divide what's in that bracket. We can do that to both sides. So we've got X is equal to D add B over A minus C.